الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Allah the Almighty wants good for you and evidence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants good for you is when he guides you to Islam when he guides you to the straight path as we ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we beseech him and we ask for his mercy and his favor and we ask for his guidance when we say it is you alone who we worship and it is you alone who we seek help and support what's contained in this verse as Ibn al-Qayyum mentions is that when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his assistance and his help and his support we're asking for him to guide us to the straight path and this includes three things. First, it's praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Praising Him in, in, with his, in His full right that He wishes to be praised subhanahu wa ta'ala. And His Lordship. It also includes His Lordship and the asking and seeking of His, his guidance to the straight path. And the third thing is that it is the full praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the only Lord and the only Lord worthy of worship. So I invite myself first and foremost to increase my ibadah to Allah. And for those people who are, no, who are uh, not Muslim, then we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you to the straight path. Look into Islam. Look carefully. Look into the aspect the concept of monotheism you won't find it anywhere else you won't find it in Christianity you won't find it in the church you won't find it in the Catholic uh, in the 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 Catholic uh, the the place of the Catholics you won't find it in the with the priests you won't find it with the monks and you won't find it with the Jews you won't find monotheism anywhere except in Islam pure true monotheism